I go to the movies. Yeah, and uh, it's something I've been doing, you know. And um, so I uh, I watched. Uh, it was the kids' movie, and it was uh, the saddest classic, and maybe maybe this one's considered like a newer classic. But uh. And I'd actually, after watching it, I'd never seen this one before. I've seen pieces of other ones, and I recently saw the prequel. But this movie, it was called I Sure Am Despicable. That's me, the movie. Yeah, so Despicable Me, number one. And so watching it, I was like, I actually had never seen it. I, I remembered none of this. So, it was weird because I, I seen pieces of another one and I just saw that Minions movie. But this movie, I'm watching I'm like, well maybe this is Despicable Me too. Because it's just like, it seems like you're coming in and the, and the world already exists and none of it's explained. <laughs> just have the, the weird guy with the nose... And he's an evil villain. <laughs> and it jumps right in where it's like there's these other villains trying to... Or there's this other villain guy that stole a pyramid. This is an old movie. So I'm doing spoilers. The old movie and there's this whole like network of who's the most famous thief sort of thing. And he has to go to the thief bank to because he wants to steal the moon sort of thing so which this is just a bad idea because that's going to wreak havoc on you know all sorts of things with the weather and the wildlife and whatnot you can't be stealing the moon man so <laughs> but anyway so i'm watching it but this is all like none of it's explained it's just like this is there's no character development. It's like, that's, I guess that's the way. It, you are thrust into the story as if you already know the characters. And that's just really weird. It's kind of like that first, you know, uh, Star Wars movie almost, where, you know, it's like a, a serial sort of thing, and this is the fourth episode, and... <laughs> uh. But anyway, so I, I, it threw me off a little bit. I was like, well, maybe this is Despicable Me too." But it, it wasn't. It was the first one. But I thought it was, uh, like, the whole thing with the three girls or whatever. And the one little girl made me think of that girl from Wreck-It Ralph. <laughs> but anyway, Sarah Silverman's character. But it wasn't her. It was a different, a different person. And, uh, but anyway, so, I liked, I liked this movie. <laughs> I mean, there's a reason why it spawned so many sequels, I guess. It was like, this is, this is a good, well-made movie. And it has heart, you know? Like, the whole thing about how he learns to, to love, <laughs> sort of thing, and, he 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 really does end up caring about those girls and and all that sort of stuff. And you know the minions, they were funny. And even though that minions movie was okay, this really is the best where they're just kind of off on the side doing their thing, you know. So, but that's weird again. This movie, they they're just there and they don't really make sense. Was this based on, like, some shorts or some something that they were making before the Despicable Me movie? Because it just feels like this this entire universe already existed somehow. <laughs> I can't imagine what it would be like watching this movie without having seen Minions or, like, clips. I may have watched... Okay, here's, here's what happens. I work at a school and so sometimes when there's a day where 
you know, you're not really doing schoolwork or whatever. The teacher puts on a movie. And it's just always got to be some sort of kids movie because they can't uh, show anything too risque to the kids and stuff like that. So I end up seeing like bits and pieces of a lot of animated, <laughs> computer animated movies. But <laughs> so that's basically, that's why I get all confused about whether I've seen, seen something or not. But anyway, I, know, I definitely didn't see this movie, but it's, <laughs> it's just weird how it's set up that way. But anyway, I thought it, I thought it was funny, and I thought like I thought they'd go more into the weird relationship he has with his mom, sort of thing. <laughs> but they did. Oh, oh! I accidentally had an embarrassing human moment. Caught on film. Oh. But anyway. Yeah, and he has that weird... His scientist guy. <laughs> uh, that's a weird relationship. It's like, I, I kind of want to... That's, that's the weirdest thing. It's like, I want to know more about... Where this all is coming from. <laughs> but it doesn't give it to you. Uh, there are some interesting things. I, I saw, Some of... The CG looks looks kind of bad, but that's okay because it's an older movie, you know, and they're and they're working with uh, technology from a long time ago. But then I see scene is like backgrounds and stuff like that. I was like, whoa, that's really good, you know, especially for back then, <laughs> that sort of thing. So, I, they definitely did a good job with this movie. And then, uh, <laughs> the weird character who ends up being the bank's, the bank manager's son or whatever is like a little vector or something. The little, uh, he's got a pop belly and he's like just a, a dork trying to impress his dad. And he, his lair is ridiculous. <laughs> Where he, <laughs> eh, you know, he's got the shark under his floor, which is ridiculous. And <laughs> there's so many things that is just nonsense. But, uh, yeah, there's a lot of, for, for some reason, I think that this movie works so much better than whenever they try to do this live action. This idea where this rough guy ends up taking care of some kids and over the course of the movie, the his story arc is that he he ends up really caring about the kids. You know, it's like Hulk Hogan does did this and Vin Diesel did this and John Cena did this and they always do this with like action stars. But it's like, this movie, Despicable Me, is that story done right, you know? Where the the despicable, the dis most despicable is one with the nose. It's like, he, he wants to adopt these girls to use them to get into the lair, but over the course he ends up really caring about them and, you know, all that sort of stuff. So, maybe someday I'll end up watching the other ones. Because I, I really thought that was good. It was better than the Minions prequel also. But, yeah. So anyway. Despicable Me. The movie. It was good. <laughs>